the main limit that we have been observing over the last years in proteome analysis was actually not so much sensitivity, this is always welcome, but it's complexity. It's complexity and therefore the speed and the ability to resolve this complexity. So my group has two parts. One is the research group doing method development and the other one is the core facility. This institute works a lot on large macromolecular assemblies, protein RNA, protein DNA complexes. We found out that protein-protein and protein nucleic acid interaction is very powerful. How MASPEC helps in this case when we have the contact sites of proteins to each other in large complexes or protein to RNA or DNA. These restraints, as we call it, can use to refine the models that are initially developed by the cryo-electron microscopy. Moreover, it can also help to detect proteins in this part of the complexes where the resolution is not good enough and where the proteins are highly flexible. Uh, the Timstoff Pro 2 instrument is a very powerful mass spectrometer. It is very fast, it is highly sensitive. And we expect, because it has a real ion mobility device, that we get more crosslinks to be identified. This will help us enormously in identifying more restraints when we analyze isolated protein complexes or protein ligand complexes. But even more important is that we can analyze now entire cells to be cross-linked and see protein nucleic acid and protein-protein interactions in the entire cell. In cardiovascular uh, medicine or cardiovascular proteomics, we try to characterize cardiovascular disease and cardiovascular health and cardiovascular therapy on mass spectrometry based proteomics is the only technology that really allows us an unbiased view at proteome and also at changes of the proteome. The challenge in uh, actually analyzing the proteomes of cardiac biopsies of patient material is the overall sample complexity. Then we have the um, linear dynamic range of proteins that we need to cover, very high abundance, very low abundance, and also we have to access very small amounts of tissue. So actually our starting amounts, our starting material is very limited. And on top of that, because this is patient individual material, we also have to perform analysis of relatively high sample numbers to account for inter-individual variation from patient to patient. And the Bruker Timstoff Pro 2 allows us to address this by the combination of the ion mobility, or timed ion mobility separation in the front end, and a very high performing time of flight mass analyzer using mostly data independent acquisition mass spectrometry. And here um, you have multiple features, peptides, which are isobaric or very close to isobaric. And being able to resolve these with the added dimension of ion mobility separation, what Booker calls MOMA or mobility offset mass aligned features, uh, this has um, provided to be very powerful. And this allows us to reach very high depth of analysis in very short times, actually. The experience with the broker Timstoff Pro so far has been a very, very productive one and surprisingly pleasant one. We have been obtaining very high performance and also, which is important for our operation as a core facility proteomics, very stable operation. That is, we can run in a highly reproducible manner uh, higher numbers of samples with uh, relatively limited and defined maintenance that is required to obtain stable performance.